Welcome back to Trionic 7. Jonathan here, back out in my sub. And for those of you who follow us on Instagram, you know I've been working on a new type of auxiliary input for my Saab 95. And today it's finally time to show you how it works. So are you ready for this? I turn my stereo on. Here's my phone. You see no cables here. There's also no cables hanging out of the cassette adapter. Everything is bone stock. And now I click play. Yes, that is my phone is playing through the car's steer equipment. I can switch songs. From factory, these Saab 95s could be had with a CD changer. And in the early Saab 95s, it was located back in the trunk. And there's a cable going from this CD changer to the audio head unit here in the car. And it's this path I've intercepted to insert my Bluetooth audio module. The product I'm using is called Blue Saab. And it's a collaborative effort from many other Saab enthusiasts who've come together, looked at the schematics and designed a Bluetooth auxiliary adapter to work in the Saab 95. I also believe this works with some of the Saab 93 models, but you need to have a car which has the CD changer in the trunk as an option. For instance, my wife's 2006 Saab 95 has the CD changer in the head unit, which means there's no way to make the blue Saab module work with that stereo. So for the Saab 95, all cars between 98 and 05 with this type of stereo can be had with a blue Saab head unit with one exception, and that's those who have the navigator here. And that's a completely different system with a completely different CD changer. So Blue Saab doesn't work with that model. As you can see, the trunk is half disassembled on the left side, just to get to those cables in behind the, uh, the left side wall. So this is where the CD changer usually sits, but now we're using it for better purposes with the Blue Saab module. So I can come to the car, have the phone in my pocket, and as soon as I turn the key, the head unit turns on and sends the play command to my phone. So I can just resume playing the music without having to do anything. And also I can use my phone holder, the Brodet adapter, have the phone in here, no cables hanging, and it looks really neat. So at this stage you might be wondering how to get hold of one of these adapters. Well, for the time being you need to build it yourself. All the schematics and all the part lists are available on the Blue Saab homepage. So if you go there and do some reading and check in the forums, there are some instructions of how to build it. However, most of these components have minimum orders, so you'll need to buy a few of them, which can become quite expensive. You also need to know how to do soldering, especially service mount soldering, because that's the way the Blue Saab chip is designed. In addition, you also need to know how to program a microcontroller, and inserting a bootloader and flashing software to a microcontroller. This can all be done, but you need to do some reading. And the first time you do it, it can be a bit daunting. But I did it, and probably so can you. So currently I have two extra kits. Complete kits for building the Blue Saab version 3.3. So if you're interested, uh, contact me on Facebook and we can work out a good deal for you to purchase the extra parts I have. Let's do this once again. I come out of the car, I have my phone in my pocket, I'm not touching it, I turn the key to on, and then I turn on the head unit. And there's the audio. So just to be clear, Blue Saab is not my product. I really have to give a big shout out to all the guys who have come together to build this project. Uh, it's really an amazing effort, a really good team effort. And I applaud the guys for keeping it open source. I mean, if you're into electronics and stuff, you can go there and do all the schematics yourself and understand everything that's going on. Also, development is ongoing. Uh, we're working on things like showing custom text in the SID. And you can also get your buttons to work, so pause and next track and previous track. So it's really an amazing effort from, from the guys behind Blue Sub.
Personally, I would say that this is hands down the best audio solution for first generation Saab 93s and first generation Saab 95s. It really works well, the audio quality is great, easy to use, and it's also in development, which means that I can go in and hack with the code and add new features. Everything is open source, so just go in there and check it out for yourself. Now, since so this has been yet another video from Chernik7, and we're the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Keep in touch with us on social media, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. This engine has never been cleaned, which means that it's been nine years. That's my quick routine for cleaning the engine in a Saab 95.